are technically under a drought still, That's right. um, but this week has brought some relief and we're hoping this weekend will bring even more. Yes, we are crossing our fingers, but conditions right. are looking good for some relief this weekend. All right, well, right now our wake up temperature indicators in the mid 70s and we're looking good, cloudy, but good. You can start to see the sun start to pop through, but that cloud cover is pretty dense and it's covering much of North Alabama. All right, well, let's go back a few hours in time. This picture is from Melanie Dees Andres. Thank you so much for sending it in, courtesy of Alabama the Beautiful. This is a beautiful picture of a rainbow on the stream in her yard. So we had some light coming in. Those water droplets act like individual prisms and they refract the light and reflect it in a beautiful rainbow. So thank you, Melanie, for sending in your photo. All right, well, first thing this morning, the Way 31 Storm Tracker Early Warning Radar Network is dry, clear, and looking good for us, but it doesn't stay that way too long. All right, now let's kind of change gears and talk about the humidity. We measure humidity in dew point, which measures the amount of moisture in the air. All of these dark colors are higher dew points, meaning that we feel more sticky, more muggy, and more humid. First thing in the morning, they're covering much of North Alabama and Southern Tennessee, and as we push through this afternoon, they really kind of isolate to areas west of I-65, but the rest of us still have plenty of green in the area, meaning that we will be very humid and very muggy today, starting early in the morning. So even though we're measuring temperatures in the 70s, we will be feeling significantly warmer than that. By the time we get to 7 a.m., we're talking temperatures in the upper 70s, and 9 a.m., we bring temperatures in the low 80s. 80s. Now there is a slight chance for rain in these later breakfast time hours, but really it's maintained to areas right along the Georgia border. The rest of us will be completely dry this morning. Well, our high temperature today will be in the mid 90s. Some of us over in Sand Mountain could be in the low 90s, but we will all be feeling much warmer than what we're measuring thanks to those high dew points and that humidity. And we will have some scattered afternoon showers and storms. So if you're getting a package delivered to your house first thing this morning, you should be good to go. But if it's coming around lunchtime and in the later afternoon, you might want to have a neighbor bring it in for you because we are expecting storms to come into the area at that time. So this puts us at 10 a.m. You can see really areas to our far east counties. Those are who are seeing our showers and storms at the moment. By the time we get closer to lunchtime, we see more widespread storms. Not all of us will see rain, but those that do see showers will see heavy downpours and could experience some areas of gusty wind. Now these showers and storms do stay with us, pop up in nature really all over the northern part of the state through dinner time. And then at that point, we have a secondary line come from Middle Tennessee. It pushes into our Southern Tennessee counties and then it moves south through dinner time to push through North Alabama. It does clear out in time for bedtime though, so that's good. We will all have sweet and peaceful sleep. Our overnight low temperature going to be in the upper 70s. And then we heat right back up on our Wednesday. Our high temperature will be in the mid 90s again for Wednesday, and we will have more afternoon showers and storms expected then as well. Well, the heat not going anywhere. Over the course of the next 10 days, North Alabama and Southern Tennessee, along with much of the continental United States, will be seeing temperatures higher than normal. And we see that displayed in in our seven day, we're talking mid to upper 90s through much of the work week. Those rain chances do stay with us, but by the time we get to this weekend, more rains in the forecast. But as a result, those temperatures are a little bit lower.